Hmm. Oh. Pretty big. Why did we buy this 65 liter and not one of the other many Chinese? Well, because this one includes the back pad. We'll see about that later. And the little neck pad. But for now, Let's see how many helmets they fit. The answer is two. They can hold two. But not a measuring wheel. Dang it. So, we are going to put on the old Africa Twin. This is going to replace this guy, which is another... Uh, you guys might have seen these. This is a kind of a low budget top bag, kind of cheap, and I used it to realize that I definitely like having storage, but I needed something a little bit more substantial than this as it has opened up and dumped all my stuff out on the freeway already. And, and the zippers are, these zippers are pretty crappy. In fact, let me show you. If you look under that doesn't line up this side does but if you were to zip this closed with that zipper this is just gonna let the whole thing just open up for no reason I feel like this tusk is gonna stay on because the stock one, although they do give you one, I'm not sure if it's going to be quite substantial enough. You know, it just kind of comes back to here. I want this thing to be held on sturdy. So it'll probably end up through here and here and whatever. Another thing going on. Armrests. Ah, uh, rear passengers getting spoiled around here. Those are kind of cool too. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so this guy just slipped out of there. Let's see. sure that we need do we need to keep the tusk on there looks like I got some couple of holes two one two three four maybe those two little wedgie doodads yeah I think we're gonna leave tusk on well, that was horrifically easy. So where I put it, I feel like that might be a little bit too close to the passenger. You figure my fat butt goes here. That's a pretty small passenger, which is usually my nine-year-old daughter, but we'll see. Okay, so. I moved this back about an inch or so. I had my daughter sit on here and it was a little too smushy forward for her. Even that might need to go back a little bit, but we'll see. That's easy to do. So next are these nice little armrests, but 
two problems. The first, I, I sized up daughter again to see where they go, and they go all the way up to that little lip. But the contour that they have shaped here points these out. That's not going to work. This box is already huge, and who wants an armrest that far away and sticking out with that wide? Nobody. So what I need to do is take this and space it out or something so that I can kind of rotate it in, fixing this soon to be cockeyed angle and making it straight. And I don't know if I should slice this whole thing off and move the whole thing in or if I keep it out on the edge and just put like a spacer or something in that corner so that it brings this into something reasonable or another idea is cut this all flush with this mount right here because this goes straight in and out slice this all straight and go in from a front which is looking like that's going to be the that's going to be the ticket then I'll just put nuts and bolts through here with big giant washers you know what that's it Okay, so here's all the pieces. It's got those little molded in threaded guys, blah, 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 blah. Here's this guy with that. I did not use their stumpy little hardware because it would be way too short because for me to get this to this, I just drilled my own holes, put those. Does that look strong? No. Is it strong enough for a 65 pound, nine year old girl to rest her elbows on? Absolutely. And that's all it's here for. There it is. Pretty happy with it. Uh, this box, they call all these boxes on Amazon aluminum. They're liars. They're, there's some aluminum and there's some aluminum. And oh, there's a little bit more aluminum and that's about it. So if you want aluminum, if you want all aluminum, well, look elsewhere, but if you want uh, Chinese aluminum, well, here it is. So, we'll see. And just so you guys can have a look at the rest of the bike, I got the Tusk tank bag. I got these little wind protecty doodads. I did get a taller windscreen and this is something off Amazon if I could find it I'll put a link so if you've got a standard and you want to just get a little bit better wind protection let me tell you this guy made all the difference in the world I did not do the thing that goes in here I did buy one and it made no difference so it got canned oh and I did buy the factory deflectors. What is there? Uppers and lowers or something like that. I got both. So whatever these are. And there's something else too. I don't know. Maybe it's just these. Maybe I just got uppers. 
So, that's it. Oh, and after you ruin one iPhone, go ahead and get you a quad lock with the vibration dampening mount so that you could not ruin your second one. Otherwise, this recording would be going boom, 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 like how they do. Oh, heated hand grips done aftermarket, aftermarket and a very tastefully appointed Corbin seat. And yes, we do have the butt warmer. And according to my daughter, it warms both sides of the seat. So you get yours, they get theirs, everybody's happy. And we will see how the riding is for the daughter because she's used to leaning up against that. Now she'll lean up against that with a little backrest, solid and firm armrests. We'll see what happens. Okay. See ya.